We ready? Good afternoon, Roscommon County, and welcome to March's Baking with Heather. Again, today we are at the Serenity Day Lodge. So um, Heather is baking us up a fantastic Irish dessert. She's making us Guinness chocolate cake with Irish buttercream frosting. I will tell you, she made it for us last week. I know for a fact all staff's going to be hanging around the kitchen waiting for some more today. So I do want to remind you tomorrow is St. Patty's Day. I hope you all signed up for a meal at your center because I'm at the Hope Lake Center helping in the kitchen and it smells fabulous. So with that being said, take it away, Heather. Well, I don't know if you can hear under this, but we're St. Patrick's Day is one of my favorites. Um, and this is one of my favorite cakes. I chose to make it this year. Um, haven't made it in a while. But when I lived in Ludington, I worked with some Irish doctors direct from Ireland. And this was one of their traditional cakes. So that's where I got the recipe. That's where I learned to make it. And it is fabulous, let me tell you. So um, that being said, ingredients, you can use what you have on hand, what you normally use, I happen to have um, organic non-GMO um, products. Um, personal opinion, what you put in is what you get out, right? But um, well, that being said, let's make some cake. So the first thing you want to do is get your cake pans ready. Um, I use a couple rounds. Um, that one is ready. Oven set to 350, preheated. Some cooking spray or however you like to grease your pan. I have organic um, extra virgin olive oil cooking spray. And then a parchment round. That will help your cake come out a lot better when it comes out of the oven. Not even pan a little better. We got a parchment round in there. Pans are all ready. I know, it, I think it's backwards on your screen, but um, I have the ingredients listed. If you are interested, let me know, let Debbie know, we'll get you a copy for sure. So the first thing we need is a cup and three quarters of flour. I like King Arthur, use whatever you want. In, in your large bowl. Three quarters. About a quarter and a half. And a half a cup. That gives me three quarters. Cup and three quarters of flour. And then two cups of sugar. Again, whatever sugar you like. I like sugar and raw. Two cups of sugar. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a little bit of Irish music playing in the background, but I didn't want to drown myself out. Two sugar. Three quarters of a cup of baking powder. I could have opened it, huh? And a quarter three quarters cup. Two teaspoons of baking soda. One, two. And a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Get this 
powder baking soda, about red milk, can't go wrong. And a teaspoon of salt. All right, and there's your dry ingredients. So the first thing you want to do is whisk together the dry ingredients in the bowl. So they're all nice and blended. You don't have any lumps in the cocoa or the sugar or the flour for that matter. That makes it nice and smooth. It kind of looks like a light sand when you're done. Mixed in. I love these little um, silicone whisks. So handy. All right, so that's all the stuff. And then in a medium bowl, we'll, we'll put the wet ingredients in there. So three quarters of a cup of sour cream or um, a plain full fat yogurt. I have um, the fat yogurt. This is the key that makes your cake so moist and dense, so yummy. Three quarters of a cup. One and quarter, two quarters, three quarters of a cup. One cup of, a half a cup of fresh vegetable oil. And whatever vegetable oil you normally cook with. I have organic coconut and flavored. Makes a delicious, delicious cake. So we need a half a cup. Three large eggs at room temperature. Debbie, you're going to bring me some eggs from the farm. Three eggs. A teaspoon of vanilla. And then the best part of all. One cup of Guinness. Or slowly so it doesn't fizz up. You know, you pour your beer, you want a good head on your pills and you're not in your measuring cup. Guinness. Smells so good, that little hint of coffee that uh, Guinness has, hint of coffee scent. And now we're just gonna mix this all up. Again, I'm gonna use my trusty little whisk. Let's put those eggs in there. Now it takes a minute as you're stirring these up, the carbonation from the beer makes it nice and bubbly, but it will incorporate the yogurt or the sour cream, whichever you prefer to use, I've used both. 
Um, it starts out looking a little bit clumpy, but it'll it'll clear out and it'll get nice and smooth. Takes a minute. Yeah, be patient. And just to just to be clear, the Guinness goes in the cake, not the cook. Okay, if you want, you can have a little. Oh, we're looking nice and smooth. And then we add it to the dry ingredients. Right in there. And with this cake, we don't want to be with a mixer. I can't even imagine what would happen with the um, the Guinness in there. It'll it would get really busy and overflow. So we just want to stir it with the rubber spatula until it's incorporated, just until it's mixed. We over stir it and it'll get too, your cake will get tough. But just enough to get it so it's all mixed in. You gotta be careful when you're making this that these leprechauns don't sneak up on you and steal your things. They will sneak in and at least at my house, the leprechauns, they run in and stick their finger in the chocolate batter and think they're gonna you know, get a little sample. All right, so that's just mixed in. That's good. We're gonna divide it evenly into the cake pan. And we're being close to three cups in each pan. I have got an alert. I don't know what that was. Okay, so. One, two, three good scoops with a one cup measuring cup. Kind of in, get them as close as we can. Running out of room on my table, huh? Okay. even. I'll put that aside. That's a nice, pretty thick batter, similar to like it would be for brownies. Not quite as runny as your typical cake batter, but makes a really moist, fairly dense cake for a beautiful presentation. Kind of spreading it around in there evenly. I'm going to steal a little from this one. That one seemed a little bit thin. There we go. Okay, 
cooked already. They go in the oven 350 for about a half an hour, 30 to 35 minutes. So this one did took exactly 30. So we'll throw those in there side by side today, right in the middle of the oven. I have a 30 minute timer. Well, the cake's bacon. We're going to make the Irish buttercream frosting. Might be the best part. So, for the buttercream, we need four sticks, a whole pound of unsalted butter. I love Kerry Gold. This recipe with the Kerry Gold makes the most beautiful color of buttercream frosting. So you want your butter to be room temperature. So set it out, make it nice and soft. It'll blend better. Four sticks in the KitchenAid mixer. I emptied them in there for you already. So four sticks in the mixer. Let the mixer do the work. So that's mixing. We're going to mix it until it's nice and fluffy and smooth. Then we want six cups of powdered sugar. But we want to sift the powdered sugar so that it isn't clumpy. Um, a lot of times, this Christmas even, when I was making my powdered sugar glaze for my sugar cookies, I didn't sift it and I had clumps in it and then it's it's a pain to get them out. So take that extra step and sift it. I did that ahead of time. I made a mess. I got powdered sugar everywhere. So I sifted it ahead, cleaned it all up. But your powdered sugar, six cups, sifted. Thanks, it's nice stuff. Now we're just going to check that and make sure it's nice and smooth. Or Pass it back in. All right, so it's nice and creamy, pretty coffee. I'm going to pick it up one more time and uh, just beat it in just a little bit more before I add the sugar. There we go. Oh, it's looking nice and good. And I will show you. I'll take the bowl off and show you before I start putting the sugar in. So we got a nice fluffy, beautiful yellow with that butter. Now we're going to start adding that sift and sour cream, or I'm sorry, sift and sour sugar. You don't want to add it all at once, so you'll have a big powdered sugar mess. So you want to just add a little at a time. So I'm going to use, I just use like a serving spoon, just about three scoops at a time. And get it started mixing. I love my KitchenAid splash jars. So soak it down a little, and while you can probably see some powdered sugar come out. So if you dumped it all in, it'd be everywhere. Keep adding a little at a time. Yep, make it a mess. 
turning out a little bit in there. Nice and thick. So put all blending in. And that laid out a little bit. And while it's open, we might as well add the rest of it in there. We're getting down. Show you here in a minute. We get it all done. All right. Now we need to thin that out a little bit. Kind of like a paste, really thick. But it's the last ingredient, the best one. The Bailey's Irish cream. A quarter cup plus two tablespoons. About this little. So a quarter cup. Plus two tablespoons. Again, in the case, not to cook, unless you want to, you're welcome to have some. Turn my mixer slowly up to medium. So it starts mixing before I turn it on and have a splash everywhere. Then I keep it up a little bit, mix it in really good. What a beautiful buttercream. Smells good. Got that nice Irish cream. And smell that in there. Looks beautiful. Okay, don't worry about getting that green last drop off there unless you have somebody that wants to lick your beaters. Those are good. I'm going to be eating right there. So the buttercream frosting is ready. So there it is. And I just leave it out. Don't let it get too hard. Just let it sit in the room temperature already for when the cake is done. So the cake takes 
30 minutes, we've still got 20 left, but we're gonna continue. Then we wanna make a nice chocolate drizzle. So you have your dark chocolate cakes, by the, which by the way, with the, um, depending on the cocoa that you use, um, I have a dark finish rich flavor, Dutch process, dark cocoa. Um, along with the Guinness, makes this cake really dark, almost like a double spoon dark. Um, so with that, with the beautiful golden buttercream frosting, a lay, you know, your cake, a layer, frost it, a layer, frost it over, then the nice chocolate drizzle on it. So for my chocolate drizzle, or ganache, if you will, baking coke or baking chocolate. Um, again, whatever kind of semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate that you like, love Ghirardelli and heavy cream. Four ounces of chocolate, a half a cup of cream. Put the cream on the stove um, to simmer. Chocolate in a bowl broken up. Pour the half cream onto the chocolate. I'm not going to do this actually just now because earlier um, I made a cake this morning and I had lots of chocolate. There's a lot, so it'll be just a lot of chocolate. But um, there's definitely enough for a cake or two once you do this. So um, a half a cup of heavy cream. Simmer it, not boil it. You don't want to scold it. Just bring it to simmer, and then pour it into um, a little bowl with with your chocolate. Stir it up till it's creamy. Um, and nice and melted, and then you'll want to drizzle it on while it's cool enough to drizzle uh, and not run all over, but warm enough to drizzle. So about 10 minutes, you'll want to let it cool, and then, it, and then it'll drizzle for you. Um, so the cake is baking. We need the buttercream frosting with the Irish cream. Um, when you take your cakes out, you want to let them cool in their pan for about a half an hour before you flip them out of their pan to continue to cool. If you can, pop them in the freezer while you're making your buttercream. Um, otherwise, just take a break and, and you know, carry on to something else. Um, and then you can frost it. It'll frost much easier once your cake is cool um, and firm. So we have, you know, the magic of camera, of course. We end up with a beautiful chocolate cake. Guinness chocolate cake, Irish buttercream frosting, Ghirardelli chocolate drizzle. I love that. I think Patrick's Day. Dress it how you will. I love my little shamrock. You're all ready to celebrate. I hope everyone has a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. If you would like a copy of the recipe, please get a hold of me um, at the Serenity Lodge. I'm extension 1108. Get a hold of Debbie um, or anyone will help direct you here and I will get you a copy of the recipe. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I would just like to say that the Serenity Lodge is open. Uh, we did reopen after COVID with some safety measures in place, um, lots of cleaning, lots of space. We are all trying to wear our masks all the time, lots of hand washing things. So um, I do have room for people. If you know anybody who needs um, some respite, you're taking care of someone or um, the caregiver needs a break, come call me. Come check in, see a tour. Have a great day. Thank you all.